Hey hey, happy new year kiddos. 2022 just started, and Skyrim modding seems to be getting off to a good start. But as the title and thumbnail of this video might suggest, the start of the year hasn't exactly been what we've been expecting. So strap up and get ready, cause it's story time. War. War never changes. As you may already know, you can marry some NPCs in Skyrim. Of course, there's a little side quest to unlock this, but at one point you will be able to ask some male or female NPCs to marry you. Do you want to get married? I'm a creeper, Minecraft's a creeper, blowing up blocks like al -Qaeda. Well, on January 6th, user Lycanthrop sparked a war. For whatever reason, they wanted to purge all gay from Skyrim. Are you a homosexual? Are you a homosexual? And thus the mod, No Same Sex Marriage, was created and released onto the Nexus. Infamous user, Reaper Anon, author of mods like More Racism in Windhelm and Less Female Bandits, followed suit and put out only straight marriages. But Reaper Anon also went a step further and put out another mod that would censor the only provable gay couple in the game. But user Crition Lauren wasn't having any of this. You can't keep getting away with it! And retaliated. We shall not fall to these, these homophobic cretins. And so Crition posted a mod to counter these attacks. And thus, only same-sex marriage was born. As you can imagine, the comment sections of these mods started blowing up and were getting out of hand pretty quickly. These mods were even reaching hot files and quickly became mods of the month. It was a fierce battle, but it seemed like only same-sex marriage was coming out on top. At this point, the war was now in full swing. Both sides were getting it on, and more sides came into play. I know what men can do when they're angry. LGBTQ, Dawn Guard Shield Replacer. Super straight Dawn Guard Shields. Marriage. Only straight volumetric lighting and sun shadows. Even translations for the original mods were made. And for the site all these mods are being hosted on, Nexus Mods, it was a PR nightmare. By now they realized something was afoot. Oh no! What is happening to our site? No straight marriages. No same-sex marriages. The election was stolen. Other mod authors and projects were rightfully upset with these homophobic mods being allowed on the site. Probably because in the past, the Nexus has taken other mods down for much, much less. And so, they decided to send a message. Ayers, the author of Engine Fixes, hit his mod on the Nexus. Meanwhile, the developers of the ambitious Skyrim Extended Cut project had a few words to say as well. The war was getting so out of hand, even news articles and reddit posts were made. Some modders are trying to cut away the gay from Skyrim, and the ensuing fallout is kind of hilarious. Alas, the Nexus had no choice, and they started taking the mods in question down for moderation. Oh, you are all so bad, and I know I have been watching from the sidelines for almost three days now, doing absolutely nothing, but now, now you can't do that anymore. I'm going to be taking your mods down for moderation. Moderation? No. No, not moderation. I just wanted straight marriages only. There. And that's that. Oh, wait. What's happening now? But that didn't end the fire there. No, there was simply too much unbridled rage and animosity in the community. Hordes of mods were still being uploaded, but would be taken down promptly by the staff. One mod wanted to make a point by having no straight marriages, or no marriages at all. Stop that, you cretin! Another user thought to ban marriages between the same species. I can't believe you've done this! And a conflicted user posted both a straight pride mod and a gay pride mod to try and bring unity to both parties. I'm a heterosexual, and the election was stolen. I'm a homosexual, and the election was stolen. I'm a homosexual, and the election was stolen. But his efforts were in vain. Oh my god! Only straight swords. I'm removing this right now. Scimitars of Skyrim. Only curved swords. Oh! Oh! You're not too bad, I won't take you down. It was pandemonium, and I guess it still kind of is, since the story is so fresh. 
But I mean, at least there were a few good things to come out of this debacle. And the community has received works of art, such as Balgroof's Secret, a gay romance adventure, allows you to unravel the gay bromance between Jarl Balgruf and Ulfric Stormcloak by taking a peek at the Jarl's secret journal. All right, let's have a look, shall we? That damned Ulfric. <laughs> that damned Ulfric. If only he knew that I still love him, oh so very much. To think back to the time when we were only a couple of young men, longing lustfully for one another, sharing our butts. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, that's an interesting start to the new year. We truly live in a social experiment. Take care lads and lasses, and see you next time.